Hi everyone and welcome to part 4 of my Football Manager experiment where I swapped all of the English divisions around. Apologies for there being no videos this week for those who follow my other videos like the crew and the Tottenham career and also the Messi series as well. But I've been busy with work and I spent some time with my girlfriend in midweek as well so I've not really had time until now to make a video. And I'm not sure whether this will be the last part. It probably will be unless anyone particularly wants me to continue even further into the future. I basically holidayed it up to 2028. I'm going to see what the Premiership looks like, what all the divisions look like, see if all the teams, the original Premiership teams, have made it back or not. And how some of the teams that were put in the Premiership from the conference have fared and if any of them have managed to remain and become massive European clubs. The early signs were that it seems like Cambridge would be, but we'll have a look now to see what the Premiership looks like at the end of the 2027-28 season. And this is what it looks like. Man United won the league. Man City, Southampton, Chelsea, Arsenal, Spurs, but um, West Ham are the only Premiership team, current Premiership teams in there. So that's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams there out of 20. The rest are a mix between conference. We've got Cambridge up there finishing fifth, Southend, Derby, Birmingham, Crewe, Northampton, Lincoln, Bristol City, Salisbury, Hereford, Burton, Gateshead and Woking. That is a big mix of teams. But of course that was just this season. There might have been other teams up there over the past few seasons. So we'll have a, a look quickly back we'll look at the history see who who's won it man united have dominated since the last video winning it huge numbers of times man city when it won it once and cambridge also won it runners up wise it's been a bit of a mix but mainly the big teams like city arsenal man united cambridge as well but yeah it's a shame that man united have returned to their dominance it would have been nice to see someone else dominating but there you go We'll have a quick look to see. I'll just quickly skip back all the way. And you can pause it if you're interested. I mean, it looks like West Ham only made it back up this season. And some teams just have probably got stuck in the lower divisions by the looks of it. Because we go all the way back to here, the last video. And there we go. There's not been a huge number of Premiership teams, original Premiership teams that have made it back. Uh, it looks like, well, Liverpool were relegated then, 2023. And then they returned. And then they got relegated again. Fulham got relegated that season as well. So there we go. Interesting. Stats-wise, just have a quick look at if there's any current players Probably not. I mean, everyone's now regens, of course. We'll have a look at England before going on to the other um, the other teams. Man United, of course, now. They've got David, David De Gea still, 37 years old. That's how far into the future we are. They've got Will Hughes, 33 years old. 103 caps for England, 15 goals. This is England, 11th in the world. What are we doing? We want to look at the squad. Here we go. So, Phil Jones still there. He's retiring though. 3,617 caps. Raheem Sterling has 95 caps at the age of 33. Um, and Will Hughes, the only three players I recognise there. And we'll go to history, just have a look at what's happened in world football in terms of competitions so go there so Holland Italy and France the last three winners of the Euros and the World Cup have a quick look at that uh, let's go to World Cup and Brazil won the last competition France before that and Mexico before that Brazil beating Colombia in the final. This is the Champions League. You can see the past few winners. Man United, PSG, Atletico Madrid, PSG, Man United, Barcelona, Barcelona, Dortmund, 
bit of a mix there, Real Madrid runners up twice. Euro Cup, Arsenal won it this season. Um, there's no other English teams that have won it recently. A massive mix of teams there have won in the competition. But anyway, moving on to the Championship, you can see the past few winners. Liverpool went up this season with Forest Green and Leeds. who seem to be going up and down. West Ham won it the previous season. Just have a quick look at this season in particular. Then I'll quickly skip back. Everton are in there. Fulham are in there. Stoke. Newcastle. So a lot of teams, Norwich, have got stuck in the Championship. A lot of the traditional Premiership teams. Quite a few normal Championship teams in there as well. Like Brighton, Wednesday, Huddersfield, Blackpool getting relegated, Charlton getting relegated, Millwall up there. But there are teams like Aldershot in the Championship and Barnet just got relegated. We'll have a quick skip back and you can have a quick look at how... The seasons have progressed, you can pause it if you wish. And we'll go back to League One next. There's no point looking at player stats as you won't know the players. League One, Dartford, Nottingham Forest and Wrexham going up there. Blackburn stuck in there. League One along with Cardiff. Who else? Swansea in there. Reading, Portsmouth. Bolton and we'll have a quick skip back again West Ham went up from League 1 that season interesting to see West Ham are relegated from League 1 in that season so they've gone up to the Premiership reasonably quickly from League 2 after getting relegated that season Southampton won League 1 then Hyde champions in 2019-20 season. Interesting stuff. Okay, to League 2 we go. This season Coventry went up. Knox County, Dagenham, Redbridge and Stockport. Relegated Rochdale and Cheltenham. Teams, premiership teams any in there that are stuck? Not really. Leicester are stuck in there. Bournemouth, Barnsley, Colchester. Mix of teams but not quite. Not many teams that stand out there. We'll have a quick look back for you. Once again, you can pause it if you wish. Sorry, you can't see the bottom, can you, of the table? I should have made the screen slightly bigger, but... Yeah. Never mind. Oh, I've gone too far back now. Anyway, the conference. And Tranmere won the Skrill Premier this season, and Peterborough went up as well. Sheffield United stuck in there. Anyone else? Wigan relegated from the Skrill Premier. Aston Villa are still in the Skrill Premier. They have never got promoted. That is crazy. And they've basically finished. The highest they've finished in the Skrill is 15th. What on earth has happened to Aston Villa? They must be really poor. They've just... We've destroyed Villa. Apologies to you <laughs> Villa fans out there. Is that Scott Wooten? Wasn't he... Chelsea player. I might be thinking of someone else. I can't even remember. Possibly not. I oh, know Man United. Hmm. Well, there you go. Um. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to check to see what's happened to their finances. They still have an estimated value of eleven point five million, despite. Been in the Skrill Premier for the last, what, 15 years. And what else? I mean, that's not bad, value-wise. Still got their stadium. Anyway, well, it's a shame to see. If you're a, a Villa fan in particular. Uh, anyway, QPR also finish still stuck in the Skrill Premier. We'll go down to the Skrill North, see who's there. Scunthorpe Sunderland only just got promoted. I mean what on earth has happened to them as well? Massive club, massive stadium. This is how they've done. Oh wait, I was looking at I wasn't looking at the right thing with Villa, I was looking at just the the season, wasn't I? We need to go to the actual team to see how they've done. 
over their seasons. So, of course, no, they have. They've only just got relegated. We'll go back to Villa. I screwed up there. Sorry. <laughs> go back to Villa. See how they've done over the seasons. Okay, so they did get promoted to League 2 at one point, then got relegated again. There you go. That's cleared that up. Who else is in the Squirrel North? Preston, Sunderland, Scunthorpe. Big teams. And the Squirrel South, Yeovil just got promoted. Anyone else in there? Can't see anyone. So, there we go. I mean, I can't remember. Crystal Palace, I don't remember seeing them. Where are they? They are in the Squirrel Premier. And whole city... Or whole city tigers. <laughs> Where are they? They are in the school premiere as well. They were re relegated though. And who else? I think that's about it. From what I can remember, Fulham. I think they're in the championship. Yeah, they're in the championship. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this. Oh, we'll have a quick look to see when the FA Cups and that sort of thing. Capital One Cup was obviously screwed up. So the past few winners, Man United crew. United City, Tottenham, Southampton, Derby, Cambridge, Liverpool, Birmingham won it twice in a row. And also we'll look at the minor competitions like the Johnston's Pink Trophy, which has been won by... West Ham, Forest, Liverpool, the big teams winning the competition. And any anything else? Probably the FA Trophy. I've seen QPR win it, Leicester, Everton. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this. I, there's no point really holidaying this any further as this was just a general overview of what's happened over the past nine years. Please leave a like if you enjoyed um, my, the series, even if you just enjoyed one of the videos, that would be nice. And leave a comment as well. I will be taking ideas on what future experiments to do. I may do this again at some point, maybe with it in a different country or mix it up a bit. Maybe swap leagues between different countries and see what happens. We'll have to see. And yes, I, the database is available. I may make the save available if I can be bothered, if people ask for it. And yeah, until next time, enjoy Football Manager. I will be getting back on with Crew, Spurs, emulating Messi as well. That needs to be finished. And just life in general. <laughs> Thanks, guys.